This is John McQuay with 8541 Tactical, and we're here at the 2023 SHOT Show in the Bush and L booth with Travis, and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the uh, new Match Pro scope that they've got coming out this year. Travis? Yeah, thanks. So we've got the new Match Pro ED 5 to 30 by 56, 34 millimeter tube, 100 MOA of elevation, positionable throw lever, locking turrets, added zero stop, and a, a two stage rev indicator. Uh, so it's going to extend. Um, expose red and then stainless steel on the second. Side focus goes down to 15 yards, great for those precision rimfire competitors. Illumination, um, and the illumination control also includes a six hour timeout. So okay. don't have to worry about it being dead and you're safe next time you go for it. Um, so center fire recoil rated, of course, um, but shown here on, on both use cases. Okay. Uh, so another thing we've got in the Match Pro ED line this year is our new binocular. Yep. So a lot of people are familiar with our Forge 15 by 56, um, but they've been asking for something with a reticle. So we've, we've delivered that. Uh, it's milliradian, milliradian based, so don't have to use it with just our scope. Use it with any MRAD scope out there. Uh, we're including dual diopter, so the standard image calibration diopter that most binos have. Okay. Um, but since this is intended for long duration glassing, we also have a second diopter for fine tuning that reticle. Okay. Um, so nice. you can really tailor it to your eyesight, look through it all day long and not, not get burned out, not get a headache, etc. Um, there are some binos out there that have reticles, not all of them level out. So we've got a leveling control. So after you okay. adjust your IPD, you can level that reticle back out um, so that it makes sense and you're not turning yeah, your head. Yeah, you're not always dealing with that candid reticle exactly. there. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, another trick we've added to this is that uh, when you've got a bino on a tripod and you're in a moderate or, or heavy wind, you end up with some image flutter, which basically looks like it's out of focus. So you grab the bino and you press down to stabilize it. Well, unless you're um, locking your elbows, locking your wrists, which can be a little uncomfortable, unless you're doing those things, the bino naturally wants to fold. Um, so we're, we're including this IPD bridge set stabilizer. You can mount it in the front, the rear. After you've set the IPD, control this top, um, top knob and it'll expand those legs. And now you've got a locked binocular uh, okay. that'll resist downward motion. Also, uh, kind of serves as like a zero stop after you get it out of storage, go right to your preferred setting. Nice. Um, again, you can put it in the front or the back so we didn't rob you of your only uh, tripod adapter location. So what kind of weight are we looking at on this? Uh, similar to the Forge, uh, so fairly heavy. It's a 1556 with Abbey Koenig um, prism sets, which tend to be a little heavier. Um, so we, we assume you're going to mount it on a tripod, and that's why we've done those things. Okay. All right. And of course, two hinges there, so less likely when you bounce them off the ground to start getting a Yeah, lot they're of pretty issues. stable. Um, we've had plenty of people knock over tripods with forges. Uh, they usually do well. Okay. Um, some questions on the, uh, the Match Pro. Oh, one thing. Uh, what's the uh, what's going to be the list price on these? Yeah, so for both products, uh, $699.99. Okay. And uh, when will the binos be shipping? Binos will be shipping in probably July of this year. Uh, rifle scopes should be back in stock in June. Okay. It's very aggressive price point to be able to have things like zero stops, locking turrets, and especially the, uh, the rev indicator on it. Yeah, it's a and fully featured scope for sure. You really don't see anything else out there that's got those features at that price point right now. So overall, it looks like a great scope. I'll be really interested to get this thing out in the field and uh, put on a rifle. So. Great. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you, John.